In this tutorial, I'm going to go over a few basic techniques on how to enhance muscles in photographs using Photoshop. Not my muscles though, because I don't really have any. But I've got brains. I, I've got brains. Okay, so the beauty of the liquify filter is that it allows you to naturally enhance and sometimes de-enhance certain things. Uh, I did a tutorial on how you can naturally enhance eyes with the liquify filter and in this one I'm going to show you how to enhance muscles and it's really quite easy. So first we want to duplicate this layer so command and control J and then we're going to go to filter liquify. Now you have a bunch of tools on the left hand side over here the one we want to use is the bloat tool and you have a bunch of options you have the size of the brush you have the density of the brush and you have the rate of the brush and they'll each do different things. Now let's say we want the, den the rate and the density to be at the maximum. This isn't necessarily a good idea because you get that and that's bad. You also are only going to be making little tiny clicks here and there. But the point of it is to make it subtle. So generally we're going to keep the brush rate at around anywhere between 20 and 30 pixels. The brush size is dependent upon what you're trying to change. Obviously, this little brush is going to be nothing for Zero Kazama's uh, shoulder right here. We need to make it bigger. So, I'm going to take it up to 450, 500 pixels. Much better. And the brush density is fine, about 50, and makes simple, small clicks. And as you can see, it makes his muscles a little bigger. So, get the tricep, get the bicep. Don't do it too much though. Also brush density will determine whether or not, let's say you have a small brush density, it'll create too much of a uh, isolated area. The larger the brush density, the better. It'll make more of it. Now that's of course is unnatural, but it'll cover more of the area so it looks a little bit more natural. So let's bust up his chest a little bit. Oop, that's way too much. There we go. And just a little bit more on his biceps and triceps, just to, I'm exaggerating here, but um, you get the general idea. Press OK. And we'll look at the before and the, I'm sorry, that's the before, that's the after. Before, after. If you've never seen this picture before, then you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But that's how powerful this tool can be, and it's very, very easy. All right, guys. If you have any questions or requests about touch-ups or enhancements with Photoshop, please let me know at requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below.